Hello everyone and welcome to What Goes Around Comes Around's live shopping experience. I'm your host Mason Howell and today's show is all about the supermodels. That's right, if you have not seen on Apple TV, I've not yet watched it, but I'm so excited to this weekend we're going to watch it, but it's all about the supermodels, Kate Moss and Evangelista, amazing. And if you saw on our front page banner, we actually had, during our Carl Augerfeld retrospective, we did a whole campaign with the famous, the beautiful Helena Christensen, and then Kate Moss showed up to the party as well. Fantastic, we love the supermodels. I'm so excited to watch the show, so I hope you guys all do too. So we brought out some items that have been worn by the supermodels before, you know, that we've seen on the catwalk and everything, but of course, things that we've seen them wear off-duty as well. I mean, are they ever really off-duty? I feel like they're always on duty, which is spectacular. So. Without further ado, let's jump into today's bag lunch, the supermodels. And by the way, tell me who is your guys' favorite supermodel? Who's your biggest inspiration? For me, it's definitely like Alinda Evangelista, especially recently. She posted a giant Birkin 40 she always carries in this beat up box. It was so amazing and I absolutely loved it. So let's jump into the first piece for today. The first item that we have is the beautiful the stunning newer version of the Balenciaga city bag. Don't worry, I have an older version too, but I wanna bring out the new version first. I feel like I always start with the old version. This is the Balenciaga gray caskin neoclassic bag in the size small. This is a Dimna Cavalia era piece. He took the original piece designed by Nicolas Gessier, which is this item. We'll get to this one, don't worry. Is this is the original city bag, this is the newer one. So this is like if Dimna Gabalia, Nicholas Gessier, and Cristobal Balenciaga, who started Balenciaga, came up with the bag together because Cristobal Balenciaga was more about the streamlined look, modern look, very structured, just like this piece is. So Dimna took a little bit of inspiration from everywhere. This piece is $1,750. Beautiful piece. It's a size small, like mentioned. It does come with the shoulder strap. It has the original hardware, as we can see here, right there. That is the original hardware that Balenciaga did when they came out with the classic motorcycle city bag. We have the handles that have that weaving on it as well. And then that streamlined look that very much the Chris Paul Balenciaga would have loved. Then the hardware, instead of it being the oversized hardware, it's flattened, which I think is kind of cool and chic. You do get the zip pocket in the front. No mirror anymore, but you still get the long zipper pulls. They're slightly shorter than the originals, but you still get that gorgeous zipper sound that we absolutely love. And then of course the shoulder pad on the shoulder strap. This piece is $1,750. You easily can throw it over your shoulder like this. So chic, love that, look at that. Very simple and easy and elegant. 
beautiful, beautiful, put on the crook of your arm. We love when the shoulder strap just hangs down loosely. It's so chic. $1,750 for this beautiful piece. Wendy, Clue, Wicked Game. <laughs> I love that, Wendy. I love that you said Clue there. But Wendy, thank you for coming back, guys. If you've not shot with us before, head over if you want to shop these items to Amazon.com slash what goes around comes around, or you can head over to what goes around NYC.com as well. Hit the follow button so you don't miss a moment, and you can shop all these items as well. And we're coming to you guys live through Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube as well. I mean, six, seven platforms technically, so it's insane. So many places we're streaming to, so love to have you guys. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. If there's any items you're dying to see, let me know. I can bring out any of the items we have behind us. I have some really cool items. Like, I mean, I have a helmet here, a Dior helmet, but we'll get to that. Very, very exciting. Okay, once again, $1,750 for the Balenciaga Gray Casket Neo Classic City Bag in the size small. Okay, now, you know what? Let's go ahead and bring out the other city bag. This is the classic Balenciaga Grey Agno City. This is the OG one. This was designed by Nicolas Gesquier first in 2001. And then basically he was a creative director of Balenciaga at the time. The Balenciaga management was like, Nick, we're not sure if that's going to resonate with our audience. So he basically was like, let me give it to the Yik Girls. And who were the Yik Girls in the early 2000s? The supermodels. That is so so long. Wendy, you may be too young for that. Helena Christensen was in that. Oh my God, you are so right. I forgot. Yes, no, I've definitely seen that older Clue movie. I totally forgot Helena Christensen was in that movie. <gasps> so good. So good, Wendy. I, oh my gosh, now that you brought back so many memories. Guys, I totally forgot Helena Christensen was in Clue. Oh, so good. Such a good moment. Okay. This piece is the older version, like I said, and who were the people who made this bag famous? The supermodels, Kate Moss, Naomi Campbell, Helena Christensen, they were all wearing this bag and became the next kind of it bag out there. This bag is $1,450. It's so crazy, because look at this. It comes with the OG mirror. You even get all of the zipper pulls. It's so hard to find the classic vintage Balenciagas all together. Now this piece is from fall, winter 2012. This color is actually called Gris Tarmac, and I love that. It's that aged Agno. Beautiful piece. What I love about the aged leather is that if you get wear to it, you don't really ever notice, because it's a part of the aesthetic. Long, long zipper pulls. See, they're much longer than the newer version. I love how long they are. They're both, like this one's manageable. If you're looking for manageable, this is the way to go. If you're looking for just over the top chic, you don't care, this is the other way to go. I absolutely love it. $1,450 for this beautiful piece. Absolutely stunning, like I said, from fall, winter, 2012. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Oh, Wendy, agreed. She's one of my favorites as well. Her and Kate, I just love Kate Moss very, very much. I'll code uh, Jesus. Any mo Moschino? We do not sell Moschino here, but we're always adding new brands to our repertoire, so feel free to check in any other time. Let's see, anyone else? Oh, fantastic. Oh, Patty B, thank you so much for the follow on Amazon. Guys, if you want to be like Patty and Wendy, head over to Amazon.com slash what goes around comes around. Hit that follow button so you don't miss a moment of me, of course. And then look, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous shoulder strap. I love it, easy to throw over your shoulder. So simple, easy to put on. I love it, it's just giving so model, so chic. And now this piece. Now, I'm not condoning what I'm about to bring out, but you guys know it's definitely very super model. So that's why I feel like this was the time to bring it out. And it's perfect to go with this bag right here. This is the Chanel Black Caviar CC cigarette case. That is right, so many brands, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Dior, even Yves Saint Laurent even had their own line of cigarettes. So, you know, supermodels back in the 90s, smoking was such a big thing, especially from the, like, the 50s all the way up to the 90s, and then, you know, and then it started happening. But this is such a cool piece. It's just so reminiscent of like Kate Moss especially. And if you're not a smoker but you love this, you could use this for so many different things. You can use it as a card holder. 
jewelry case, anything that you need, but knowing that it like was a cigarette case, I think that's like so fun, right? $598, it makes, like I said, the perfect wallet. It has a snap closure. There we go. This is from 2004 to 2005. Carl Lagerfeld loved the kind of kitschy remarks, and this is one of the pieces that he did with that. You could even see on the LAX collection that they did um, back in like the early, that or mid 2000s, they had like one of the, some of the models had cigarettes going down the runway. So I just think it's so funny, and this is such a great piece to add with this. Look at that, just giving all model, very supermodel. So chic, so, so chic. I mean, also one of my favorite photos, I know this isn't supermodels, but Cameron Diaz and Drew Barrymore walking down the street with a bottle of Dom and the cigarettes, I think it's just like one of the funniest, chicest things, right? Ladies these days use them for carrying feminine hygiene products. Wendy, you are so smart. Honey, this is why I need, I know I might need you as my co-host one day, Wendy. Perfect. As Wendy on Amazon said, guys, genius. This is a great thing for your feminine hygiene products to put in there. Anything that you may use, great place to hold it and keep it safe. There you go. Thank you, Wendy, for that recommendation. So smart, guys. What would you guys put in it? I would love to hear from you guys. What would you guys put into this cute little Chanel Black Caviar CC cigarette case? Look at the condition, so great, so chic. It actually could fit right here in the front pocket. Leave that mirror hanging out, yes. Oh my God, look how chic that could be. Look at that, and you just pull this right out. So amazing. Oh my God, now I have a whole aesthetic going to my head. I mean, who's in agreement with me, right? So super, very Kate Moss. This whole outfit right here is very Kate Moss. Okay. Let's move on to our next pieces. Oh, make sure I don't lose that tag with it. Next, I have some really, these two really cool items for you guys, okay? This is from the Spring 94 collection, and just about every supermodel has worn these, and we have both of them. These are the Chanel beige, and then the black ones, elastic suspenders. I would have worn them, guys, but I am way too tall for them. They almost fit me, but like, it's stretching. It truly is. Both of them are $2,750. Aren't these amazing? Spring, summer, 94 collection. These went down the runway. Amazing, not these exact pair, but you know what I'm saying. They had so many different variants. We have sold these so many times, and it is so hard to find them, but when we do, as you can see, look at the condition. Basically brand new, faint scratch from the hardware. I mean, here what goes around comes around. We're gonna bring you the best condition items out there. This is a leather patch right here. It has a CC emblem on it. So simple, so chic. Let's look at the black ones real quick. The black ones obviously are just a la Chanel, but I think the beige, guys, I'm really into earth tones. If you saw me the other day, you know I always wear black, but I started wearing, what do you call it? Now, I normally wear all black, but I wore brown the other day. I'm getting into earth tones. I'm getting there. This one has the white CC logo on it. Look beautiful, look at these. Absolutely incredible. Look at those snaps there. Gorgeous, spring, summer, 94 collection. Leather here as well. They are adjustable, so you can make it any size. Basically, if you are below like, if you're around 6'2 and under, these will fit you. I'm 6'5 and they were off by like half an inch. So that's why I'm gonna say 6'2 and under to make it safe, give it a little extra grace on that. $2,750 for each of these pieces. Honestly, the beige ones, the beige ones are something different. Like I just haven't seen these in so long. And beige, white, it's so hard to find this in great condition. But these are amazing, $2,750. I know Naomi Campbell wore them down the runway. She actually wore them like this down the runway. She had actually the white and black pair, and she had it like this. And this part was attached to like her bra top there, which was so cool, so amazing, and so chic. Absolutely love it. Okay, now we're gonna get into a couple bags that we gotta bring out because honestly, just like the models off duty moment is also something that I am obsessed with. Honestly, I love my drawers back here, guys. They're just full of beautiful scarves, beautiful accessories, just everything and anything that, you know, just like you would have in your house, you would have that middle console in your closet to put all of your beautiful items, right? And you have the drawers, oh, I love it. I went to one of my client's closets and she has like fingerprints on her drawers. I think it's so chic. Obviously, you know, she has like diamonds in there, but we don't have diamonds yet, yet. Stay tuned, we may have diamonds coming up soon, guys. You never know. All right, 
this piece, this is gorgeous, isn't it? This is the Goyard orange Goyardine canvas structured Saigon bag in the size mini. So cute, beautiful, beautiful wooden handle here as well. So this bag with its name is the Saigon bag. Basically, as Goyard describes it, it evokes the magic of the Far East. And I love that because they really are paying homage and a nod. I love when these luxury brands, they take inspiration not only from their own culture, but a lot of it, like Hermes takes a lot from Africa. And I love that Goyard takes a lot from Asia. Such a nod to that market, a show up sign of respect and timeless elegance. We know so many amazing Asian supermodels have come and it is just fantastic still to this day. We love seeing the diversity on the runway in this piece. Absolutely amazing. This is $6,150. You get this classic soft leather all the way around. I would compare this leather almost to like a combination of Swift and Evercolor from Hermes. So it's a softer leather, but it's so smooth, but it still has a little bit of a structured feel to it. Not as, you know, doesn't have that as soft of a look as Swift would have, but it's like a little Evercolor into it. If that's making sense, guys. <laughs> For all my Hermes also aficionados out there, I hope that made sense and for my handbag lovers. But beautiful piece. Sim Alani, do you have anything for slash shearing for winter? Ooh, yes, I certainly, certainly do. SM Alnami, but I don't have any here today. We are, I'm gonna do a winter show, I promise. But I do have some shearling first up, I have tons of it. So, SM Alnami, Apologies if I'm butchering that. I promise I'll have that. Tune in next week and we will certainly have it. I'm gonna to try to put it on Tuesday show for you. So Tuesday show, we'll have a show at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check in there, okay? All right, $6,150, this beautiful piece. And now look, you get the Goyardine canvas, but the rest of it is leather. Beautiful base in orange. This has no wear to it. Now I love because that Goyardine canvas is actually in the shape of trees because Goyard originally, their family just how Louis Vuitton were trunk makers, Hermes, they uh, get a lot, they were also like trunk makers, but luggage makers, they, carriage makers as well, but they had an equestrian background ma mainly. Goyard had a logging background from France and they actually took over Goyard from another, it was called something else before Goyard. I wanna say it was Martin, Martin, Goyard and Martin or Martin Goyard might have been one of them. I have to double check, but beautiful. This is like their color, similar to Fendi, signature Goyard. Beautiful, this is lined in leather, almost like, it looks like a goat skin almost. Beautiful slip pocket. You then get the shoulder strap and the Goyard pouch. So I love this, you can wear it as a little bag. It's almost like the Kelly of Goyard. $6,150. Easily can place this on. Beautiful shoulder strap. It's long enough that you could wear it crossbody if you need to, or you could easily wear it just over your shoulder. I put it on, but it would take so long, you guys. I was doing this the other night, and I was like, Lord, you really gotta have patience with this cutie, which is always worth it. Promise you, it's always look worth it. Like, look, look at this, super easy. All right, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> to show you guys. All right, just like that. There we go, it's so fresh and so new. I don't think this has been done yet before. Don't worry, it does not damage the bag. Easy, just like that. Perfect. This is the longest length and just easily goes over. And I love how, look, it's just so simple, that handle staying up, so, so chic, $6,150. And look how easy it is just to take it off. You just, and I love when it almost looks like hardware-less. Even there's a little bit of hardware, a few snaps, it's basically hardware-less. $6,150 for this gorgeous, incredible item. There's silver hardware on it. I love when orange has silver hardware over gold. I mean, I love it all, but I love when there is the silver hardware because it just like, it cools it down a little bit. The orange is already beautiful and you know, it just makes you focus on the orange mainly. Also, it makes you wear it timeless, you can wear it year round. You can also wear it during the fall. Honestly, anyone who's telling me that they can't wear this during the fall, I don't believe them. You can, you can wear any color during the fall, it's just how you style it. It's all about how you style it. 
Now it does come with the Goyard dust bag and everything, but you'll always get a complimentary what goes around comes around dust bag, which you saw a little, I keep telling you guys, it's like I have like a little, what is it, bewitch where she, you know, can tickle, make her nose shift and then like a wish happens or magic happens. I'm just doing it because I have makeup now on my face. So I do this show and one, expensive makeup, which we'll get to here in a second. But now my nose just always itches <laughs> from the makeup. And I've been told you just can't, just can't itch yourself. And I'm like, oh, whatever. But everything comes with complimentary. What goes around comes around dust bag. They are high quality cotton dust bags. They will last forever. You can use them anytime. Absolutely amazing. So once again, $6,150. Okay, guys. Now, the supermodels were the celebrities of the 90s. Like, they were the ones who were on Vogue, everything. Now, the supermodels of our era are the celebrities, are the amazing reality stars, are the, you know, amazing actors and actresses, especially the reality stars. We love the reality stars. I'm a trash TV person. Who else is? Who loves a good, good, good trash TV moment? Oh, SM Alani, great, looking forward, great. We will tune in, we will DM you as well once we have that show, okay? Our amazing, amazing moderator, Kara, she will certainly take a screenshot of your name and we'll DM you once we have the show link, okay? Amazing, but yes, so the new, new models basically are the celebrities and reality stars, but let me know who else loves a trash TV moment. I'm all for it. And one of my favorite shows, they're coming back this week, I believe, or next week? No, they, I think it's tonight. Tonight. Oh, we got Wendy. Yes, Bravo Channel all the way. Roni, Real Housewives of New York City. We're here for it. Jenna Lyons, she's, she gets a lot of her denim from us. Uh, she lives just around the corner, basically, but she hosted one of our parties last year. Amazing, love her. We also love, oh my God, I also love uh, Uma on Real Housewives of New York. Love her. We love Salt Lake City, so much drama. Mary on Salt Lake City makes me crack up. But now, the show that's coming out soon, the next season on Hulu, season four, The Kardashians. Now guys, yesterday, we had to bring this out because not only is it like a runway piece, but, and the supermodels were on the runway, but yesterday, Kim Kardashian, she wore this piece. She got it from What Goes Around Comes Around, and she was wearing it out with a beautiful pink Chanel top. We've had those tops before. I don't know if she got it from here. But anyways, she wore this bag. You guys can, we have the images popping up for you. Don't worry, for my viewers on Instagram, we will bring it up for you as well as soon as this is done, okay? Oh, Al, oh my God, the outfit is giving. Thank you, Al. Allie. Oh, thanks. I am feeling very the road today. But okay, we have the images up here so those on Amazon can see it. She's strutting down the street with this bag. This is the Chanel black quilted lambskin bandy bag in size large with 24 karat plated gold hardware. Don't worry, my Instagram viewers, you can probably see it, but if not, we will bring it up for you towards the end as well on the main page so it just fills the page. This piece is from 1991 to 1994, $7,500. This is an amazing, amazing piece. It is fully structured. This handle does not move. It is so hard, look at me, bouncing it. It's great, 24 karat plated gold hardware all the way around. You can wear this as a bag as Kim Kardashian did, or like I said, expensive makeup and expensive creams are La Mer, our Caudalie. I love Caudalie, by the way. They have their own winery, by the way. You want to make sure they are traveling in style, and this is the perfect piece for it. Look at this. Oh, look at that mirror. You can see our cameras in there. <laughs> but beautiful mirror. Look, there's virtually no scratch into that mirror. Such great condition. Beautiful burgundy interior. This burgundy interior is inspired by the uniforms Coco Chanel used to wear at the convent. Beautiful, look at that slip pocket. You even have another slip pocket here. CC quilt in the bottom. Each size has these elastic pockets, so you can easily put anything in there. Perfume, such a great piece. The base of it, four feet with the CC logo as well. Incredible, look at that, virtually nowhere to it. Minor mark is the exterior. Faint scratch into the hardware, but you also get that CC turn lock. Fully structured, so amazing. I love this, $7,500. Easily add it to your car, amazon.com slash what goes around comes around, or what goes around nyc.com. Click on that live flashing button in the corner, I'll pop up and you can add this to cart. We have two of them left, so this is the time to get it. 
And now that we've seen that photo, the prices have not increased yet, but I assume most of the time we see it, it goes right up. Now we have the full photo for you guys. You can see it. This is amazing with Kim Kardashian wearing it. Wendy, I know this is a wish list piece, right? Such a wish list item. Avocados for life, for self love your screen name. I am in love, amazing, right? Kakasha Halani, black hearts, yes. Oh my God, Ali, thank you so much. Heart loves to you as well. Beautiful, right? Ali, I know, the red interior, that burgundy interior is amazing. By the way, guys, burgundy and red is such a big color for fall, winter. Now, if you're not feel, sometimes, you know, I know the struggle of not being able to wear, not really willing to put out like reds or bright colors. This is a great way to kind of know that you are still going with the trend and you love that burgundy interior. I love it, it's like, it's like wine. By the way, you know where that color, board, the name Bordeaux and burgundy comes from? Burgundy is one of the oldest regions, like literally the Romans are the reason we have Burgundy France and wine in France in the Burgundy region. They create beautiful Pinot Noirs, some of the most expensive in the world. And that's where that color Burgundy comes from because of the beautiful Burgundy color in Pinot Noir from Burgundy. By the way, guys, fun fact, I used to be a wine specialist before I was a handbag specialist. So literally my two favorite things in life, drinking wine and playing with handbags. Eventually I'll get to do them together on the show. Late night show, coming up soon, guys. But all right, guys, $7,500. Remember, we only have two left. So this is one on the show. The other one, feel free to DM us if this one is sold out. But get it now, because now that Kim Kardashian's come out, we've noticed, especially Kardashians have a big trend, have a big price influence on the pre-love market. Remember the Takashi Murakami Kim Mama Grandma Flash collection? That spiked up to plus $10,000 after we saw the Kardashians beginning to wear it. They have such an impact on fashion, and rightfully so. They're amazing at it. So that is what I recommend. Buy it now before the prices increase, before our analytic teams, she's in Portugal right now, before she gets back and discovers it. Get, it, get the price now, okay? <laughs> Sorry to our analyst team. <laughs> okay, next piece I have for you guys is this really fun, amazing piece that technically, not this exact one, but the indie bag. This is the Babushka indie from Gucci. Under creative director, Frida Gianni went down the runway in spring, summer 2007. So this is most likely a 2007, if not slightly after piece. I love the name Babushka. That is who I become after I have a few martinis. I put my Hermes scarf around my head and I become Babushka. Gucci original Gigi crystal, which is basically the canvas covered in this beautiful lacquered, basically almost like a patent coated canvas, if you will. Yeah, it's like it's woven coated canvas still, but then you get this patent layer of it, this like shine, this gloss. I love it. But it's the Gigi Crystal Babushka Indie Hobo in the size large. So you basically, this is amazing. One of the best parts is you have the fringe here, such a big trend coming up for fall, winter 2004, 2004, 2024, 2023. Oh my gosh, really 20 years, 20 years, insane. But. You get these gorgeous gold studs with the black studs, the flat black ones all the way around. Shoulder strap, the handles. This is in great condition. This is suede. Suede is so hard to find on the pre-love market, but here at what goes around comes around. We're gonna bring you the best condition items out there. Now look at this as well. You get these amazing charms here. Now what you guys don't know is, you see that knight? He's actually carrying luggage, Gucci luggage. All these beautiful ornates on the knights. So basically when Gucci o Gucci, the founder of Gucci, passed away in the 1950s, his son replaced the brand's logo actually for a very short, short, very short time with the logo of and the picture of a knight. So as I would say, he's standing with a shield and he also is carrying luggage, which is so amazing. It also has the Gucci word mark on it, um, rudder, and then also there's a rose for basically the aesthetic, the aesthetic appeal. But then it was taken away shortly. If you guys don't know why, it's a very long story, but read The House of Gucci. The movie does not even, I mean, it's a good movie, but aesthetically good. They did not even touch on the whole Gucci family drama. I mean, they really only touched on basically the woman who had her husband killed, um, the one Gucci that lady, I can't remember her name, but the family drama, I mean, they were the reason like the 1980s, the gospel columns were all about the Gucci family. Because it's amazing, because they were just causing havoc here in America. And I loved it, and not paying taxes. Pay your taxes, people. As RuPaul says, pay your taxes. <laughs> but amazing, amazing pieces we see here. This is under Frida Gianni. She, Frida Gianni was a creative director from 2006 up till 2015, and then Alessandra Michelle took over. 
She took over two years after Tom Ford left, and her collections are slept on. This is one of her designs and pieces we see here. Such a cool piece, this is such a model off duty. A lot of the time, the models, along with being paid for, sometimes they weren't even paid going on the runway, they were then gifted bags or clothing. They would oftentimes take the look they were wearing after done with it. The bags were a lot of presents. Carl Lagerfeld was known for doing it. So this is definitely, when you see a lot of limited edition bags, the models, oftentimes it was a gift, and this is one of those items we've seen many times on the models. This was $2,340, but you guys, it is on promotion only for you, our live shopping audience, at $1,560. Now, if you want that price, you have to head over to whatgoesaroundnyc.com. I do not believe that price is currently available on Amazon right now. Let me double check real quick. Actually, it is. It is available on Amazon, you guys. So head over to amazon.com slash whatgoesaroundcomesaround or whatgoesaroundnyc.com. It was almost $2,400, which guys, it's on promotion for $1,560. Now let's look at this interior here. You're gonna die over the interior because it's plaid. How fun, it's like a burgundy plaid. You get the zipper pocket as well. There's virtually no wear to this interior. Look at that. I love that plaid. I mean, just when you think this couldn't get more just obscene and over the top, they, we outdo ourselves there, right? That's so fun. This bag just makes me so happy. $2,340, but it's on promotion for only $1,560 for this beautiful, beautiful piece. All right. Let's move on to our next item. By the way, guys, I love talking about the history of these pieces. Would you guys be interested? What if I did like a little book? Would you guys read a book if I did my handbag historian book about some of these pieces? Let me know. Maybe we should start. Oh my gosh, okay. You know what, for our digital marketing team read, listening, let's do some blog posts. I want to start the book. The book, the handbag historian book. We're starting it with all the free time I have. <laughs> you guys are my main thing here, I love it. Okay, something else we know, the supermodels, by the way, if you still not have watched this, show yet it is on apple tv we're watching it this weekend wendy yes i love hearing the history okay wendy i got wendy's approval on it yes we're doing it then i'm doing a little handbag historian book i'm so excited for it oh my gosh i'm gonna become an author now an author i'm so excited for this okay next we have a bum bag a waist bag a fanny pack whatever you want to call it so model so chic once again a great place for our Chanel cigarette case slash feminine hygiene case slash jewelry case slash wallet. <laughs> so, this is the Louis Vuitton monogram denim bum bag. Something else we know the models made big was denim. Honestly, the Levi moments, such a thing that people did. And here, what goes around comes around, we sell tons of vintage denim. Levi's, Wranglers, and like, you no, know, I was talking about this with someone last night at an event. Basically, it is just, Denim is something else, you know? It truly is. Like, people are like, well, why don't I just buy a pair of Levi's, like, you know, at the Levi's store for like $100? Very, very different. Vintage denim is just something else. And I'm so excited when we get it on, on the show. We even have, or when we get it on the website, we're gonna have a show with one of our co-founders, Gerard, and it is gonna be amazing. He's gonna explain it all. But right now, we actually hold the world record for the most expensive pair of denim ever sold for over $2,000. Isn't that incredible? We're in the Guinness Book of World Records. Look it up. Okay, back to this, this piece. This is the Louis Vuitton monogram denim bum bag with beautiful vachetta trim and gold hardware. Look at that vachetta trim. Virtually no wear to it whatsoever. The denim also barely any wear. The nice part is, as you can see here, how it's looking a little aged. That's the point of the denim, and that's gonna happen over time. This is from 2007. Now that's a part of the aesthetic right there, but that's what the look's gonna look like over time with it as you wear it. This piece is so rare and hard to find. Also, one of my favorite things to read on purse form. I pour myself a glass of wine, go on purse form and read it, and I watch all the ladies, the handbag ladies, fight over about when denim came out. Some say it came out in like 2004, 2006. In America, under Marc Jacobs, we know it always came out under Marc Jacobs, but others say that it came out over in Asia and across seas in Europe around 1999. So there's all these different, like, kind of, when did it actually come out? 
So I love watching the fights because then it's like, then they like, they don't atta attack each other personally. They attack each other's handbag collections. And I think that is the funniest thing in the world. And it's like true. Like if you want to offend me, you could say anything you want about me. I could care less. You insult my handbag. I'm going to go into a mental breakdown for the next nine days. And I'm going to need like psychiatric help. <laughs> so this piece from 2007, $3,650. I love it because not only can you wear it as a bum bag, as you can see here, look, it even fits me. I, I'm not gonna tell you, all right, I'm telling you guys my waist size, so I really don't care. I'm a 38 inch waist and it fits me. Actually, I can actually put it on the last, the last, uh, what do you call that? The last hole there, last adjustment hole. So it'll fit you just fine. Also, you can wear it, which I love to see, just across like a sling bag. So amazing. This piece is $3,650. Such an incredible, incredible item. I love this. And look, something my grandma always did, and we made fun of her, but she was just ahead of her times because she's just such a sheep woman. She would do this. She would throw it over her shoulder and carry it like a bag, which I love. Absolutely love. Now you have this front pocket here, which is usable, and it does, because it's denim, it does have a little bit of give. And iPhone Max does fit in there, so it's perfect for your card, like your credit card if you always need, or your ID, and then your phone right there. So you don't have to open up the main compartment. This piece, once again, $3,650. Now, the interior of the bag, look at that, and that beautiful, almost mustard, curry color yellow, that dark yellow, which is such a big color for the fall, winter, 2023, 2024. You have slip pockets here, a foam pocket and a normal slip pocket. Absolutely stunning, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alcantara lining, so it's basically suede adjacent. You know, suede, Alcantara is basically like faux suede, so it's water repellent, stain repellent, and scratch resistant as well. So it's easy to clean. Holston made it famous when he put trench coats in suede, the Alcantara, down the runway. And that's how we basically have it in fashion because it was originally made for cars. Because, you know, beautiful, beautiful design on the interior, but what do we do? We're always outside or getting into our cars from the outdoors. Goes through constant use. So it was a great way to basically protect the inside of our cars. All right, and I have more denim pieces coming up, guys, so do not worry. But what I'm going to bring out is something you guys are going to die over. I have four of them. They're so rare and hard to find, so I decided I had to bring them all out at once for you guys because they are so precious and cute. So here we have, look at these. Look at all these cuties, you guys. Ah, I love them so much. Okay, there we go. I love how they're like not looking like super cute. This is all of the Louis Vuitton coin purses or pochette clefs really, because you can put your keys in them or your coins or anything else. They don't fit the cards, unfortunately, so I tried. All right, let's start with this one. This one is the Louis Vuitton Steven Sprouse Rouge Foestive Corail Monogram Verni Leopard Zippy Coin Purse. So let's bring that one out first. Absolutely stunning. Look, there's still plastic on the hardware here. This piece is only $550. It is from 2010. Now, Steven Sprouse was an incredible, incredible artist. He tragically passed away at the age of 50 from cancer. And he was the first artist that Louis Vuitton collaborated with during the spring, summer 2001 collection. And he did the graffiti that we see in honor to pay homage to him. They basically, Marc Jacobs did a re-edition of the graffiti and the more neon prints in 2008, 2009. And it's that famous photo of him holding it like he was painted in the graffiti and you know nude and then had the key balls like covering him but amazing and look at this gorgeous gorgeous interior of that rouge interior you also get this little heart chain here i love that and then you also get this beautiful chain look at that beautiful beautiful zip pouch here gorgeous only 550 dollars you get the all up that beautiful, beautiful leopard. This is actually leopard print was first produced. He, did, he passed away before this came out. This came out in 2010, actually, part of the re-edition. I love this. Absolutely stunning. You can use this as your bag, put your keys in it, anything that you may need. And I always recommend these four keys because inside of our bags, you want to protect the interior of your bags. Even though they have the Alcantara, a lot of times they have the Epsom leather, the Chev leather, which is very durable in the interior of your bags. Keys, we know they have points on them they are going to damage the inside of your bag. So protect your bags by putting items in here for it. Super easy to do. 
Now we have another heart version. This one is the Louis Vuitton Red Palme d'Amour Monogram Reyes. That basically just means stripes in French. Verni Heart Coin Purse. Once again, you get that long strap, you get the Louis Vuitton logo there. And look at it, it's in cursive. They don't do that really anymore. And it always reminds me of Louisville Slugger, like Louisville Slugger Bath. The only reason I know Louisville Slugger is because of Carrie Underwood. You know, is that Carrie Underwood? You know, before you cheat? Before you cheat, that's what it is? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I right, took a Louisville Slugger to both headlights, slashed a hole in all four ties. Maybe next time you'll think before he cheats. Singing is not great, did not hit any note right. Believe it or not, I was a musician, but clearly not a singer. <laughs> okay, 2011, this is $550. Beautiful gold hardware on it. Look at this. Gorgeous red leather interior as well. That one had the burgundy, the Steven Sprouse. This one has a nice, slightly lighter red, a little darker, but still lighter. But I love the stripes. You get that Pont d'Amour, and then you also get a little lighter and the darker throughout it. And look, the Louis Vuitton logo is embossed on it, that Verne. And it's actually bigger. It's like more big than what you normally see on the classic Verne. Both of these are $550. I love them. If I had to choose between one, it's actually really hard to choose. If I was giving it as a gift, I would get this one. For myself, I would get this one. Leopard for myself, the Reyes for a gift. Now, the next one is also another Verne, but this is from a collection that just came back out. They did another collection almost a decade later but this is the Louis Vuitton Yoya Kusama Red Monogram Verne Dots Infinity Chapeau Coin Purse, and I love it, slash key holder, or pochette clef sometimes. So $715, this is from 2012. In January 1st, 2023, they relaunched the collection with Yoya Kusama. The newer collection has like basically almost like painted, hand-painted looking dots. This one is more of a, I would say a, you know, just the classic dots in here, the infinity as you call it. Get that monogram bare knee as you see here, slightly more oversized. Zip interior, gorgeous cherry red leather. Then you have this clap right here with the lobster clasp. So easy and chic. Look at this, you can easily put this to your bag, on your keys, anything you may need. I love this. So cute, there's virtually no wear to it. Most of the time the bare knee is like patent leather so it's hard to find because most of the time it's just, you know, and not great condition, it's like patent leather. So once it's damaged, it's damaged. But here what goes around comes around, we're gonna bring you the best condition items out there, like this piece right here. Virtually no wear to it whatsoever. Faint scratch to the hardware, a little creasing, and just a minor mark to the interior right here. But $715, when I tell you how hard it is to find Yoyo Kusama, I have to fight to get this stuff on the show for you guys, because let me tell you, at first I need to bring it to you guys, but second, because it sells so quickly. Like some of our stylists have clients lined up waiting for certain pieces. And this is an amazing piece. So get it before it goes. Head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around to shop it or what goes around nyc.com. $715 for this beautiful, beautiful piece. All right, now I have one more of the coin purses, but this one is called the Mune Round, which I love. This is probably the oldest one we have. And this one is a Takashi Murakami era. Takashi Murakami and Yoyo Kusama are probably two of the top contemporary artists from Japan in our lifetime. I mean, Takashi Murakami, I believe he's in his 60s or early 70s. I hope I'm not aging him. But I know Yoyo Kusama, she is around like 94, which is insane, still doing amazing collaborations. They even put a giant sculpture of her. If you saw Squid Games, it almost looked like the Squid Games sculpture, but you know, chicer. But this is from the monogram Sarises. So this is from the 2005 collection. No longer in production, they discontinued the Louis Vuitton monogram uh, Takashi Murakami collection around 2015, but Cerise's, I believe, was discontinued even sooner. So this is the Takashi Murakami Cerise's Porte de Monet round. 2005 is only $698. What I love about all the Cerise's pieces, look, Cerise's pieces, like Reese's pieces. You have, the out, you have this Taiga leather, which is like Epsom leather or Prada Safiano, so it's a coated over the leather to be a more scratch resistant, water resistant, and stain resistant, like we were talking about for the inside of most products. So this is great for your keys. And I love this ring because it doesn't, look, it doesn't just open. You have to lift it and pull. So your keys will be super secured. So this is great for that. And if you're looking for like a classic monogram, you may not be ready to go full out and about like this or the leopard one, which is even the heart shape. This is a great safe piece, but 
it also has a little nod. Look how happy the cherries are. Guys, they're so happy because they know someone here on the live shopping audience is about to buy her today. Am I right? I am 100% right on that. Once again, this piece is only $698 from 2005. And look, something so rare that people oftentimes don't notice. Both of the little stems on the cherries, one is blue and one is green. Isn't that incredible? It's those small details that I really love about these pieces. $698 for this cutie right here. And that is for, once again, all four of these. $550 each for the heart collection. Infinity Dots is $715. And then for the beautiful monogram Cerises, it is $698. 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2005. Amazing, right? All right, let's move on to our next pieces, you guys. Next, we have some fabulous, gorgeous little items about to come out. Put all these cuties back. There we go. Okay, next we have a good old Saint Laurent bag. By the way, if you guys see any bags behind me, let me know what you want me to pull out. I'm happy to bring out any of the other pieces, okay? Next, we have this Saint Laurent YSL Lulu bag. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Lost it for a second. That's okay. Oh, I have it right over here. Apologies about that, you guys. All right. Here she is. This is the Saint Laurent YSL Black Caskin Monogram Lulu Toy Bag with beautiful, beautiful silver hardware. Look at this piece. Look how good it goes with my outfit, too. My silver signet ring, my silver Omega watch. Vintage, 1971, by the way. You know, I love vintage. We do hear what goes around comes around. We are iconic vintage. And this piece may not be fully vintage yet, but you hold on to her, you buy her now, and eventually she will be vintage. This is the Lulu Toy Bag Black quilted cask and chevron, but also referred to as the white quilt at Saint Laurent. So Saint Laurent Paris was originally Yves Saint Laurent. And then when Heidi Slomain took over, he dubbed it Saint Laurent Paris by dropping the E's. But they kept, one of the most important pieces is the classic logo that was designed in 1961 by artist Cassandra. She went by one name, like Beyonce. She was the Beyonce of the 60s for art world. But Yves Saint Laurent and Pierre Bourget, who was Yves Saint Laurent's business partner, approached her and was like, hey girl, can you make us an amazing logo? She goes, I got you, and created this timeless YSL logo that happy Heidi Slamain didn't get rid of. I'm okay with him getting rid of Yves. It took me a couple years to come around, but if he got rid of the logo, we would have had a protest. I've not protested a lot of things in my life, really ever, but I would protest some fashion stuff, you know? Absolutely not. That's what we love about, the history. $1,950. This bag, the Lulu, was named after Lulu de la Feliz. She was Yves Saint Laurent's like, muse. If you Google her, Lulu de la Feliz, she, she, Louise was her full name, basically comes up as fashion muse. That was like her title in life, her, I'm like, girl, that's what I want. When I finally, like, in, not, if I die, I want my Google to say, Mason Howell, handbag historian and fashion muse, and wine lover, and handbag lover, and car lover and everything else. <laughs> Just give my whole biography. That's what we're doing. We'll do a full biography. $1,950. Look how all that chevron matches up. See how they call it the Y quilt? Look at that. Boom. It's in the shape of a Y. But it's that aged kind of cask in here. Magnetic closure. Beautiful smooth interior black leather. Canvas on the interior with a little bit of leather trim. Now this bag may be small, but she is mighty, let me tell you. And look, you can even wear it as a cute little clutch if you really wanted to. So simple like that but it does have a shoulder strap, do not worry. Here is the shoulder strap before I show you that. The interior has beautiful black canvas. Here you have the four credit card slots. You then even have beautiful black canvas here as well, along with the zip pocket. Saint Laurent Paris is hot brand stamp right there. And this even opens up if you wanna put cash or just a card that you always use right down in there. Now there is no back pocket, but that is okay because you do have plenty of room in there and it, it stores everything and it fits an iPhone Max. Now, we have the black shoulder strap that is slightly adjustable and you just pair it on the sides here. Those, I love that they put the rings for the shoulder strap on the interior of the gussets, like on the seam, because it really just adds something. But look at this, easily throw it over your shoulder. 
You can wear a crossbody if you wish, just like that. Ooh, should I button myself up for the rest of the day? Let me know what you guys can sing. Oh, Wendy, you've been waiting for the YSL? Well, here she is. I think I have more YSL, too. Actually, this might be the only YSL piece I have today, Wendy. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, I'll get more in. If you guys want more YSL, whatever brand, let me know. I'm happy to bring more out and add them to our upcoming shows. So, Wendy, I got you. I'll bring out more YSL for you. But $1,950, so cute, so, so cute. Wendy, did you end up getting that cute little pink YSL? Let me know. If not, maybe we can make it happen for you. Let me know if you're still interested in it. Beautiful, beautiful green casket. Oh, I do have another YSL piece, guys. I have one more, actually. Yes, Wendy, this should be yours. It should be. But let me know if you wanted that. Wait, it was the pink. It was the pink one, right, Wendy? From the last show, a couple shows ago. But yes, Wendy, this should be yours. And we have another one that should be yours as well. Because it is so supermodel. Because Lulu, technically, she was a muse, but she was also a fashion model. That's why we brought her out. But now I have one that is from the actual supermodel. Sorry, she fell over for a moment. Just want to wrap this up beautifully. Make sure she goes in there. All set. So to make sure you don't lose your shoulder strap, it's okay to leave this part out because there is a little bit of a little opening here on the side so it won't damage the bag whatsoever. Okay. Where did I get you from, girly? Oh, over here. That's right. Okay. All right. I have another one for you, Wendy, and for all my Saint Laurent lovers out there. Wendy, decide to stick with black, being patient. Okay, Wendy, then let's find you a perfect black YSL. The Lulu's a good one, but Lu Wendy, let me know what you're exactly looking for, and we're going to find it for you. I can also pair you with the stylist if you want. You can easily give you to a stylist. Let me know, whatever you decide. Send me a DM, Wendy, at Mason Henry Howell on Instagram, okay? All right, so here we have, this is the Saint Laurent Red Grain Caskin Kate Bag in the size medium. I used to have this in clutch form. I loved it. So this was named after... One of the most amazing supermodels, literally one of my favorites because she's just a party girl through and through. And her daughter looks incredible too. Like her daughter's really molding to like, I think what's her daughter's name? I can never remember her daughter's name, but she's looking gorgeous. She's about to like really just outshine her mother, I think. <laughs> this is named after Kate Moss. The one, the only Kate Moss. One of the supermodels with probably the most handbag named after her, Kate Moss here. From 2010, this is 2000. $250. Sorry, this piece was created in 2010. This one's not from 2010. They still produce this piece, but I love this red color. Such a great color for fall coming up. We love the red, especially if you Chinese New Year is coming up in a few months. I know it's a little time away and holiday is too, but it's never too early to plan. So $2,250, gorgeous gold hardware. Look at this, virtually nowhere for that exterior green calfskin. And it's almost like caviar leather, but smaller within the pebbling. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Beautiful. No creasing here yet. Now it will crease over time, but that just happens. So don't worry, it's not a big issue at all. And then look, I love this because you wear it as a clutch, but you can also wear it as a chain bag and a shoulder bag. You have a slip pocket right here. Easily take this part out. And something that I love, that these brands, they think of everything. When I tell you they think of everything, they truly do. Now look. You can wear this as a shoulder bag, the double, just double it around, or you can wear it as a crossbody and shoulder strap as well. But look, they have created, so the strap doesn't constantly spin on you. They created this beautiful, beautiful little, basically, bar here, and it stops the chain from going any further or spinning. So smart of the brand to do that. Look at this, easily throw over your shoulder, wear a crossbody, this is truly a classic. If you're looking for a classic, classic bag, this is the YSL one right here. So Wendy, if the Kate bag, that could be another good one for you, but we can find it in black. We definitely have them in black for you. And if you guys don't want to wait for me to bring out any more items that, you know, if you're not seeing here exactly what you want or a different color, just head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around. We have a whole shop there. You can shop it or on what goes around nyc.com. It's open 24 seven and we ship so fast. Don't you guys worry. We will ship those items out as fast as possible. And actually, I'm really going to be doing some shipping today, guys. Literally, we got some amazing orders in from the show last night, and I'm so excited. And honestly, I don't think I've ever shipped anything from here before, because we have an amazing team who does it, but some of them are out for the holidays. So I'm excited. I'm excited to you know, get it done. Maybe I'll write you guys all little notes. 
I love writing notes. So let me know if you guys do ever buy anything. Send me a message on Instagram, live shopping at WGACANY.com, and we can certainly, certainly connect you guys. Well, they'll connect you with me, or connect you. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, I will write you guys a little note. Maybe I'll throw in a little gift. You'll never know, but you gotta tell me, okay? All right, guys, next piece. This is an amazing item. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Chanel piece. I love this. This is on the runway. A couple runways, actually. This is the Chanel Black Cocoa Canvas Vertical Tote, the flat vertical toe. As you can see, it does not have, has a little bit of a side to give, but it does taper down a little bit, so I love that. So it just looks flat. This is just to be a papers. Honestly, this, I wouldn't even put anything in this. This would just be a piece I carry. This is from our Carl Lagerfeld retrospective. This is from the 2002-2003 era. Like I said, went down a couple of runways. Beautiful piece. You have the black leather woven chain strap here. Beautiful. Now that leather woven chain strap was created by Carl Lagerfeld. The chain strap by Coco Chanel, of course. And then Carl Lagerfeld is the one who wove the leather through it. You then, of course, have beautiful leather side here, most likely lambskin, and then the rest is canvas with the cocoa all throughout it with a little CC, CC insignia. <laughs> so Coco Chanel created the CC logo. It's just basically cocoa and then Chanel together as one, just like this. But what's even cooler is that cocoa isn't her real name. It's Gabrielle. So Gabrielle Chanel, Mademoiselle Chanel Gabrielle. But Coco came from, she first tried to be a singer and a dancer on stage throughout all of the cafes. So basically cafes were like the bars of the time. Still are basically over there. You can drink anytime, I love it. <laughs> but she tried to sing, but she was so bad at singing, she was bad at dancing, and I hate to say she wasn't, she wasn't gorgeous for her time. I think she was beautiful, but she wasn't gorgeous for her time. If she was young today, she would have thrived with her beauty. She had very much that Audrey Hepburn look, even in the 60s. She was very Audrey Hepburn aesthetic with a short pixie cut, gorgeous. But she was called Coco because she always sang the song Coco. It has a longer name, but the song is basically called Coco. So she was always called Coco, and that's what I love that about her. So it's very reminiscent to the history of Chanel. Like I said, not much could fit in here. It is a toe. I mean, you could put a lot in here. I take that back. You could, but personally, I think it looks so sheet flat, and that's the way you should carry it. Just put like your newspaper in it or something. If you still read a newspaper. I think it's cheap to read a newspaper. I forgot to tell you guys the price. <laughs> this one was $4,425. It's so rare, but it's on promotion just for you guys for $2,950. There's virtually no wear to it. There's no snagging to the canvas whatsoever. There's no wear marks to the leather trim. Just faint scratching to the hardware. Other than that, excellent, excellent condition. 24 karat plated gold hardware on that as well. Okay, I have an amazing model item for you guys. This piece, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to bring it out. Ooh. It's an Hermes, of course. I'm sure you guys see her probably right behind me. I'm gonna, there we go. Stand in front of her so you guys don't peek just yet. <laughs> okay, this is whew, a brand new, there is nowhere to this, Hermes, Nada in a tame, swift leather Kelly pochette with beautiful rose gold hardware. This is an HSS, an Hermes special order, a horseshoe stamp as a HSS stands for, or a rack order. So it's basically the names that you hear, rack order, special order, or HSS horseshoe stamp. So what that means is it's one thing to be offered a Birkin, a Kelly, or a Kelly pochette, mini Kelly, or other iterations of the Birkin and Kelly but it's another thing to be asked to design your own. So what they do is they offer it to you after you basically have spent a certain amount and they bring you into a special room where they lay out threads, they lay out swatches, colors, all that, but of that season, because they only do it by like season basically. So it's not just any color within the Hermes realm, but it's a lot to choose from. You get to design your own bag. i have heard it, some people get them in three months, some take up to two years. I know one person waited two years for theirs, but it was super special and they basically had to find like the right way to do it. So that's what I love about this piece right here. So this piece, like I said, so special, HSS, rose gold hardware. The plastic is still on the hardware, which is such a big indicator and such a big thing. If you want to preserve the items, leave the plastic on the hardware. If you, do, if you plan on just wearing them, take it off. Beautiful plastic right here as well, both on the single plaques 
and on the Torre plaque, you also get that hardware. Beautiful Nada all the way around, a Tane here. Nada is almost like a, an off-white, I would say with a little bit of a pearl gray undertone to it. You then have the stitching and Nada here, and then the, sti the atonal stitching, a Tane. The sides are also in Nada, and so is the back, but the handle and the singles are in a Tane. Now the interior is also in a Tane lambskin. Comes with a dust bag, full set, box and everything. Slip pocket here. Beautiful piece. Now the Kelly Pochette was created by Jean-Paul Gaultier. That's who created Jean-Paul Gaultier. We have to thank him for so many things. I have to double check, but I believe the Kelly Pochette first hit the runway in 2008 in a beautiful black color. But this is gorgeous. And this is what any model would carry. They would totally carry. They love the little bags. And this is a great example of the little bags they would absolutely carry. This piece is from 2000, I want to say it's 2022. Let me double check here. Oh, there it is. Nope, this is a Z stamp, so it's from 2021, but still perfect condition. The rose gold hardware, they did do this in Bishi Limited Edition runs beforehand, but now it's rumored the rose gold hardware can only be done by a horseshoe stamp. Now the way we can tell it's custom made is by this horseshoe logo right next to the Hermes Paris France hot stamp. Yeah, Hermes Paris made in France, and then with that horseshoe stamp that you see right there. That and signifies that this was a custom order piece. Oh, BBG, thank you so much for the follow on Amazon. If you guys want to be like BBG, just head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around so you don't miss out a moment of me shoppable for these items and everything. Now, once again, this piece so rare, color pochettes are one of the hardest bags to find and make. Oh, Wavy Peanut Butter, welcome back. Thank you so much for the hearts. Thank you for all the show ideas. I'm so excited to implement them. By the way, guys, I love doing the show themes, but I want to hear from you guys what kind of themes you want to see. So DM me at Mason Henry Howell, and I'd be happy to listen to any ideas you may have. Or just want to talk about bags. Happy to do it. Isa K. Vanity, where is this location? So this is the studio. We're located in the heart of New York City's Soho neighborhood and we are in our shop at 113 Wooster Street, The Atelier. It's our newest location in New York City, just on Wooster Street. Come in, our beautiful studio. We are within the store, but below, so you can't see us. But let me know if you come in, I'd be happy to come up, say hello. And this is an invitation to everyone. So if you're ever in New York City or visiting, live here, come by, say hello. We'll show you around some the store, get, partner, pair you with some amazing stylists, show you some amazing items to add to your collection. We'll do it all, guys. One thousand, sorry, three thousand, thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. If I gave this away for one thousand or three thousand dollars, I think I would be pretty much no longer allowed to work here. <laughs> but thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars is beautiful piece. When I tell you, it is so so rare. This Kelly Pochette. When I worked in the auction industry, these would go over forty thousand dollars for the new ones that are in basically this amazing condition, brand new and horseshoe stamp with this kind of color combination. Way over 40, I think one of them I had one time went for $67,000. Incredible, right? Price, like I said, $37,500 is a beautiful piece. Isa Kivandi, thank you. How about the Beverly Hills location? Is that a shopping store? Yes, it is, Isa. Head over to Beverly Hills if you are there. Yes, guys, we have two locations in New York City and then one on the West Coast in Los Angeles, just off Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. It's actually one of the most beautiful stores we have, Isa. So you are so lucky if you live there. DM us, Isa, at what goes around NYC. And you can also DM me at Mason Henry Howell, and we will connect you with a stylist who we have to give you an amazing experience. We're all about the client experience here. And we truly believe that even though we're buying free love, it should still be that elevated experience you would get anywhere else you would go. Isa K. Van, you want a vintage Cali? Oh, look no further, Isa. We will find you the perfect vintage Kelly. When I tell you the condition of our vintage items, that's what sets us apart from the rest, guys. It is our condition. We have the best condition items out there and we will make sure we bring them to you. So, Isa, let us know which one you're looking for. If we don't have it currently, we can certainly source it for you. Super easy to do, okay? I know, baby doll 5189, gorgeous, right? Absolutely gorgeous for this piece. It's so, so beautiful. Oh, Wavy Peanut Butter, you've been there? Oh yes, I know you've been there. I love that you've been there as well. Yes, it's one of those gorgeous stores. Listen to Wavy Peanut Butter. She's one of our first live shopping audience members. So love you, Wavy Peanut Butter. And you gotta head over there. Let me know what you think. 
or if you're heading there, I'd be happy to pair you with one of our stylists, like I said. Even if you just want to take a look around, we're all about it. We're no pressure business. We just want to give you an amazing experience. And I'll ensure they have a little bubble, champagne or Pellegrino, whichever you prefer waiting for you, okay? All right, guys. Let's move on to our next item. Next, this is a cool item. Where are my ski people at? Who are skiers? I know the models oftentimes are skiers. We can make it happen. This. I have a whole season planned out for skiing this year. But look at this, isn't this cool? This is the Christian Dior brown leather and plastic oblique ski helmet. So that plastic base is a high quality plastic that's produced and used for high functioning ski helmets. So this is what this is used for. I'm a big skier, guys. I absolutely love it. So this is an amazing piece. Look at this, you get that beautiful Trotter Furissimo print here. You then have the leather brown here as well. The sides here are for your ears and they are, you know, so you can hear things still there. It's not just perforated, but it has a whole mesh system in there. This is for your aerodynamic, so aerodynamic, for being aerodynamic, so that, you know, it, it doesn't, the wind just goes right through it. It doesn't like try to pull you back. Because if you don't have this on top, that wind will try to pull the helmet back with you, which could you know, make you lose your balance. This is where you could attach it to your coat so you don't lose your helmet if it does fall off. If you do fall, which you won't do. Then of course you get this adjustable strap down here. It is comfortable, don't worry. And look at that, beautiful. It fits my head, by the way. Very soft interior. It's a great piece. Absolutely stunning. This piece is only $1,985. Look at this. Look how cool it looks. Now I look like a nerd, but by a nerd, I mean I'm the nerd. I'm a nerd, I promise. Look at this. So fun. I have a giant head, so it fits me. It'll fit you just fine. And the great part is you can also adjust it to make it tighter on your head if you do have a smaller head than me. <laughs> All right, $1,985. Let me know who's skiers here. Where do you guys ski at? I would love to hear. I'm a huge, huge skier. So I love skiing. Breckenridge is one of my favorites. Whistler, we love it. I haven't done East Coast skiing because it's ice, but I will. Oh, it's Isaac. Isaac. Okay, Isaac. Okay, Isaac Vandy. I apologize for saying Isaac K. Vandy. <laughs> Isaac, duh. <laughs> Thank you. I want a brown Togo leather, I think, with gold. Oh, we can certainly source that for you. So easy. So easy to, we can get one for you in great condition. Isaac, can you tell us the different styles of the Cali? Because there's no more structured and more, no more slouchy, right? Of the Cali. Which one's the Cali are you referring to? Oh, of the Cali. Different styles of the Cali because there's no more structured and the more slouchy, right? Actually, they still make... Uh, Isaac, they still make the structure, they call it the cellier, and then they also make the uh, retorn. So the cellier is, like I said, the more structured, it's where it's stitched on the outside, and then the retonne is basically where it's made from the inside out, and they, that's where it's the piping on the outside, so that's why it's the inside out. But Isaac, oh, don't worry, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help, and that's what I love about this. So basically, they still do make the both styles, but the first original style was actually the retourne, and then they did it in the cellier, but they both originally was the box cap, which is the heritage leather. So I'm looking for the bag, same time trying to explain this. So the heritage leather is the box cap, but when they make the structured ones, it's normally an Epsom leather, box cap leather, they do it in both the retourne and the cellier, more of a harder leather. And then the softer versions, the Togo leather, they do in the retourne, which is the inside out. But if you want the structured and a togo leather, they do make that. It's called the cellier mou, M-O-U, where it's a soft leather like togo or swift made into the cellier style. So, Isaac, feel free to follow me at Mason Henry Howell. Feel free and I'd be happy to uh, give you all the information you may need. I love talking about this. And we can pair it with the stylist as well. You can certainly find the piece for you. Be great. Oh, Isaac, no need to apologize. I figured out what you were saying. <laughs> the Kelly, for sure. All right, guys. This piece here is the Christian Dior Rasta Diarissimo canvas bowler bag with beautiful silver hardware. I love this. The Rasta collection came out in 2001. I love that you have the number one here. The Rasta was inspired from Rastafarian culture and the religion that Bob Marley was a big part of and originated in Jamaica. So this is a nod to that. Now look, you have the beautiful red leather trim all the way around, along with the yellow leather trim and the green leather trim as well. Then you even have the front part here that has the green, red, and white 
red, yellow stripe, that's all leather as well. The rest of it is a coated canvas, not the woven canvas, with the beautiful Trotter print on it, or the Diorissimo print as it. it's now called Trotter, it was Diorissimo. Beautiful, beautiful piece here. Now look, you even have a slip pocket back here, two of them. Beautiful, beautiful item. This piece, so knowledgeable, right? Oh, oh, wait, peanut butter, I'm so knowledgeable. Oh, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wait, peanut butter, I love you. Thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. Oh, Isaac K. Vanity. Oh, fab fabulous. DM me. Be happy to talk this through with you, okay? Fantastic. Isaac Vanity, Isaac Vanity, can you tag your handle, please? Yeah, absolutely. Our wonderful moderator, Kara, she will put it in there for you, okay? At Mason Henry Howell. Be happy to tag it for you. And Isaac Vandy, we'll find you after the show as well if you can't find me. At what goes around NYC, which on here you can DM them as well as you're watching, and they'd be happy to connect you with me on there, all right? Okay, this piece, $1,250. Beautiful, beautiful red zipper pulls here. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Now let's look at the interior. It does come with the original Christian Dior dust bag. Beautiful. Oh, thank you guys so much for the hearts on Amazon. I appreciate it. Oh my God, I just got 139 hearts. Thank you guys. And thank you for the hearts on, tic on Instagram too. And TikTok, give me all the hearts, guys. I love it. I am fed off of attention and words of affirmation. <laughs> beautiful. Look at this red canvas. It's a nylon canvas. It's easy to clean. You even have a great little thing here to put your keys. It just snaps and then a foam pocket. I mean, it's 2001, guys, so this was for your, this was for that Nokia. Then you have that zip pocket here as well. I love it, such a great bag. Even on me, look, once again, I'm six foot five. This fits me so, so well, right? Beautiful piece. Isaac, my pleasure. I love this, you are so great. Oh, love you too, Isaac. I can't wait to talk to you more. Wavy peanut butter. Oh, oh thank you, wavy peanut butter. There's, there's one of my amazing, oh, wavy peanut butter. I need to hire you, amazing. Oh, I, I deserve more hearts, thank you so much. Wavy peanut butter, one of our amazing audience members has just, and, and client, actually, I don't know why I'm saying audience member. Wavy peanut butter sent us an amazing unboxing, this amazing Louis Vuitton pieces she got. So if you ever wanna send me an unboxing, please do, but she just took my handle in there for you guys, okay? Thank you, Wavy Peanut Butter. All right, $1,250, this beautiful piece. Oh, let's look at the feet real quick. Five feet on the base, absolutely stunning silver hardware. Gorgeous, gorgeous item here. So beautiful, absolutely love it. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this piece for one moment. I need to wet my whistle. You know I love talking, but my throat doesn't always enjoy it sometimes, but it's not gonna stop me. Take a look at this beautiful piece while I get a little sip of water, all right? All right, guys, once again, this is the Christian Dior Rasta Diorissimo canvas bowler bag with beautiful silver hardware from 2001. All right, let's move on to our next piece. Next, I have a couple amazing Gucci pieces. Now, she wasn't a supermodel, but she was a superwoman, and we loved her. This is named after the one, the only, Princess Diana of Wales. This is the Gucci Brown original Gigi canvas Diana bamboo hobo bag in a size large. I love this because not only is it just a classic hobo, you get this bamboo handle, so Gucci, but the top part, instead of it being like a zipper, it is the fold over, but it folds over each other, which keeps it super safe, just by gravity, and you're all there. So this bag was first introduced in 1991. It was popularized by, and then named after Diana, after it had been released, and Diana wore it a lot. So very popular by her. Only $1,250. Look, it fits over my shoulder perfectly. It'll fit over yours. Now the bamboo, bamboo came from and into Gucci after the World Wars. Basically, there was no luxury products basically being made or, you know, leather, things like that. It was all very, you know what I'm trying to say. It was hard, it was hard to acquire anything. So they needed something that would work as a luxury item, was mendable, was petro could easily be used in products and then 
basically, uh, you know, could grow fast as well. <laughs> and that's where they came up with bamboo. So bamboo is a grass, it grows really, really fast, it can be petrified, and then used, and it will hold up forever. I mean, over in Asia, they used to use, build houses out of bamboo, and I think they still do. I just saw a tiny house, like, on YouTube. I love looking at tiny houses. I can never live in a tiny house because I'm six foot five, but the dream is there. And then I was reminded recently by my brother, I do live in a tiny house, I live in New York City. <laughs> so, technically, I'm already there. But, where was I going with this? Anyways, <laughs> the bamboo, I've seen that a tiny house was made with bamboo, so it's so durable, and then it became just basically a classic within Gucci. So this is real bamboo that you see here. I'm gonna show you another piece here momentarily that is not real bamboo, but it is metal and shaped in the form of bamboo and carved to look like it. You get the horse fit rings here on the side, just like Hermes, Gucci was very much inspired by equestrianism, and equestrianism, especially over in England. You get the beautiful Gigi woven canvas here, and then you also get that leather, that beautiful chocolate brown leather here. Look, there's no corner wear. This is such a great rare piece. So beautiful, look at that. Absolutely stunning. There's no snags to the canvas either. And then, look at this. You have this stunning canvas line, like a twall lined. Beautiful, beautiful. There's no wear to it. Zip pocket with two slip pockets as well, but that's not the best part, guys. Guess what I brought out to you? A shoulder strap. That's right. This bag did come with a shoulder strap. And I love it because look at this. Easy throw this on. I love when the handle just lays down like that. I think this is so chic. This, the large size, is great for anyone, any shape, size. It is perfect for everyone out there. Once again, I'm six foot five, so this will fit everyone perfectly. If you're taller like me, it's gonna look great, very proportionate. And if you are shorter than me, I'd love the oversized look. We love it. $1,255 for this beautiful, beautiful item. Remember, this was named after Princess Diana of Wales, the late Princess Diana. And I honestly, who else is in agreement that Kate Middleton, I guess Kate Windsor now, but Princess Kate is doing an incredible job at living up to the Princess Diana, right? Without, all the, without the drama. Obviously, they had a lot going on there. But Princess Kate, right, doing amazing. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. I love this. Look how chic it is. Easily, easily can stand up on its own when you have stuff in it. $1,255, this is a steal, you guys. Just head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around or what goes around nyc.com. All these items are shoppable. Just click the flashing light button in the corner on what goes around nyc.com and you easily bring it up and shop this beautiful piece, the Diana. I don't believe it's in production anymore. Actually, that's a lie. They came back with it in 2019, part of their sustainable collection, which they called Off the Grid. So, Alessandra Michelle did bring it back, so I do remember that. Okay, all right. Oh, we've been playing on Thank you, Mason, for always trying on the bags. I'm six feet tall, and I need the perspective of length and width, so I so appreciate you. Oh, my pleasure. Oh, wavy butter, I knew you were tall too. Honestly, all my tall kings and queens out there, Thank you guys so much, but yes, I love playing the arm for you guys, and I'm gonna tell you, I do do all the research to ensure at certain heights where it would hit you, how it would fall, but for proportion, just so you guys can see as well, okay? All right, next, I have this beautiful item. This is a Tom Ford era piece, and this is definitely a supermodel style. We have seen so many supermodels wear this. I think Naomi Campbell is wearing this many times, but this is the Gucci Purple original Gigi canvas bamboo shopper tote. Like I told you, this is all metal with the bamboo engraved, you can see here. So bamboo just became such a special part of Gucci that Tom Ford, I love, he made it even more luxurious. He even has done some with beautiful crystals within it as well. And you're not gonna believe the price on this piece. And they just came down the runway with another similar edition of this piece. But this is Tom Ford era, 94 to 2004 is when Tom Ford was at Gucci. He basically saved Gucci. But this is from the fall winter 2004 collection. Look at this, it's almost like sunray beams coming out, right? Almost like alien beams, like you're gonna be like beamed up by an alien. That's what I feel like that <laughs> reminds me of. By the way, has anyone seen that new movie on Hulu, No One's Going to Save You? Like honestly, it was so crazy and messed up, but that's what this reminds me of, beaming down light. <laughs> so, oh my God, can you imagine if the aliens got Gucci? They'd be loving it. Deb the Cuban, first off, love your name, Deb the Cuban. This is gorgeous, I know, right? Oh my God, Deb the Cuban, I wish I had, 
yesterday, oh, wait, wait, Deb the Keeman, I might have to show you real quick. Hold on, since you are, I happen to have, this is from yesterday's show, but I don't know if you know, Chanel did a Cuba collection. This is from Paris, Cuba, 2017. Isn't this amazing, Deb the Cuban? Look at this, it's a boy bag. They did so many amazing Cuban bags. Gorgeous sequin with the distress. It has the Cuban flag on it, along with the CC and the Cuban flag, which I love. It's from Paris, the Mejia D'Arts 2017 collection. I'm so happy I had it, but I'm, I just want to show you. This is so amazing, antique gold hardware. Beautiful piece. I believe this one's around $6,150. My uh, amazing moderator, Kara, will try to find the link and put it into the shows for you guys on Amazon and on what goes on NYC. But if, if we can't, just DM me, at Mason Henry Howell, or us on Instagram, at what goes on NYC. We send more information. We even have other items from the Paris Cuba collection. Devin Cuba, I know, right? Stop. It's so gorgeous, right? Isn't that so amazing? I love that piece. So amazing. Oh my God, Deb the Cuban, they also did. Oh, Wavy Peanut Butter, going to get my students. Have an amazing day. Oh, you too, Wavy Peanut Butter. Enjoy the rest of the day. Love you, adore you. I'll talk to you soon. Deb the Cuban, I know, right? They even made a, a cigar box, the Minotier, that had Coco Chanel's face on it. I need it. I'm a big cigar smoker, Deb the Cuban, so I'm into it. All right, guys, back to this beautiful piece. This is the Gucci Purple Original GG Canvas Bamboo Shopper. Love the double handles here. So fun, right? Bamboo links. And then the interior here, I mean, this condition too, look at that, virtually nowhere. There's a minor mark here, but other than that, this is an excellent condition. See, you can barely even see that mark. Barely see it, so amazing. The GG canvas, no snags to it. This piece is only $1,500. Gorgeous leather trim as well. And look at that gorgeous brown canvas lining with a zip pocket and a slip pocket. I lied, just a slip pocket. <laughs> the eyes, I feel like sometimes I'm going crazy, guys, because like sometimes I'm like, no, I know what's inside that bag. But I see all different bags all the time, and I'm like, you know what, it's in there. Nick and, Nick Andel's mom? Nick and Al's mom, back to this. At Debbie Cuban, you need it. Okay, you know what? Let me bring this back out for you guys. We need to go over the Cuban bag a little more in depth, and I'll tell you all about the collection. So, the Metia D'Arcs collection are like pre-fall or cruise collections that Chanel would do, and they're basically like, <coughs> whoo, scared the living crap out of me. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. She's mad because I, this bag is mad because I'm giving the Cuban bag more attention, guys. <laughs> Wow, that really scared me. <laughs> Anyways, okay. But the Metia D'Arts collection are these beautiful, artful collections that Karl Lagerfeld did and Virginia Viard has continued on. But this is from the 2017 Cruise Collection. So they actually went to Cuba and showed the show there. How amazing that. Had the beautiful vintage cars. So, so amazing. It's so beautiful. I love this. Gorgeous, gorgeous red, white, and blue. You have the Cuban flag on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous sequins, and then of course you have that distressed look, which I love. I love that distressed look on it. This piece I think is $6,150. Gorgeous slip pocket back here, which normally the boy bags don't have slip pockets, so that's so rare. Antique gold hardware. Look at that white interior, there's virtually nowhere to this. Insane. Beautiful, beautiful piece. You have the adjustable chain shoulder strap. And then let's look on the interior here as well. Gorgeous blue canvas with a zip and a slip pocket as well. Gorgeous item. Throw it over your shoulder. You can also wear this crossbody if you need, but this, Deb the Cuban, this is what you need in your life. $6,150. Feel free to DM us. We even have the backpack version of this. It's so cool. I love this. And to find a white bag in Free Love Market, impossible. This is also like impossible to find this collection. So good. Absolutely amazing. All right. I think I said Cruise 2017. That's when it came out. All right, another amazing piece from, this was named after the amazing actress and model, Bridget Bardot. Look at this. This is the Gucci Brown Original Gigi Canvas Bardot bag. I know what you're saying. It looks like the Jackie, but the way you know it's a Bardot, it has the double handles. Basically, one of the easiest ways. There are some like other iterations that have the single handle, but mainly it's the double handle. <laughs> but this was first introduced in the brand's collection under Frida Gianni. Once again, guys, 
one of the most slept on creative directors at Gucci, 2006 to 2015. Look her up, she has some amazing pieces, amazing shoes too. But she created this bag, the Bardot, like I said, after Bridget Bardot, French actress and model. There's a famous picture of Bridget Bardot in her older age. She's carrying a Birkin and a McDonald's bag. Love her. <laughs> $1,350, you still get this tubular, tubular, <laughs> this tube lock from uh, Gucci. Oh my God, tubular, maybe I feel like I'm like in two, like 2004. Like, Dude, Where's My Car with Ashton Kutcher. Who has seen that? Dude, Where's My Car with Ashton Kutcher. Such a movie. My older brothers always made me watch it, so. And now I'm like, okay, kind of lame, but I still love that movie. All right. And I love that you have the double handles here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, which is so great. This is like brassy rose gold hardware. Isn't that cool? And it's like brushed, too. So chic, all the way around it. You have the studs on the side. Gorgeous leather trim with that GG canvas. Only $1,350. Beautiful interior here as well. That brown canvas with the zip pocket. Stunning. Stunning, stunning piece. And look, crook your arm. I love it because you can easily open it just like that. Get anything you need. $1,350. If you're looking for that classic, classic bag, this is the way to go. Oh my God, you guys, we just hit 1,300 hearts on Amazon. How amazing. And thank you so much for the hearts on Instagram. Doesn't tell me how many. But I'm sure I have just as many on there. But thank you. Oh, we had 1,400 hearts. We're just hanging it so fast. Thank you guys so much. We really, really appreciate it here at What Goes Around. Comes Around Live Shopping Experience. If you want to see any of your any other bags, feel free to just let me know in the chat. I'll bring them out, okay? $1,350 for this gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Look at this. Absolutely insane. And I love the four feet on the base in this glazed leather. This is the Bardot bag, like I said, named after Bridget Bardot. It first came out in spring summer 2011, and it's actually no longer in production under the collection of Frida Gianni. I, I don't think it's a, no, no, I'm taking that back. I do think, I have to do more research, but I think Alessandra Michel may have done a re-edition of it. By the way, guys, it comes with the original Gucci dust bag, and don't worry, it does come with a complimentary what goes around comes around dust bag. Our very high quality dust bags are really great for traveling. If you especially want, some, it's black, it's very, you know, discreet. It just has our logo on it, but small. So if you're looking for a bag, a dust bag, great for traveling, that's the one to use. I use them for all the traveling needs, like for all of my bags. I switch them to my what goes around, comes around dust bags because I like to travel with them because they're just black and easy and discreet, right? Okay, guys. Next, I have this amazing, amazing piece. This reminds me, who's seen Absolutely Fabulous? One of the best shows out there, at Fab. This is when they went to Paris, and I remember Patsy Stone was basically like, she, was, she thinks she was a model back in the day, like a supermodel, but she wasn't, like with Twiggy and all of them. <laughs> so she's like bringing all this luggage for a day trip to Paris. She goes, I need hats, scarves, gloves, all of it. And then one of, her, one of the younger models shows up with just like a little Fendi like Vandy case, and that's what this reminds me of. This is the Louis Vuitton Red Effie Boite Tout Vandy case with beautiful, beautiful brass hardware. I love this piece, what a tout, basically just means the box for everything, and this is actually mainly for the jewelry, and I just love it, but you can really do anything you want with it. $2,500, beautiful red epi. Now remember, epi first came out in 1985. It was inspired from a leather from the 1920s that Louis Vuitton, the brand, kind of had, and they found it in the archives. So 1985 was released, they released certain colors, and then they discontinued a lot of colors. This red color is still in production, but something like Borneo Green, they discontinued in the late 90s. So one of the only places you can get some of these is on the pre-love market. This is no longer in production either. It's $2,500. And listen to this. Yes. All right, now you need to see it. Ready? Ready? Get ready. And listen. Beautiful sound. Absolutely stunning. Love it. It is slightly green oxidized on the hardware, but guys, that is easy to clean off. All you have to do, I'll actually give some tips on that, but all you have to do is easily take a little bit of, I think it's the Tarnex we would use on this one. Let me double check that. I'm actually going to get back to you guys on what exactly to use to clean it, but it's easy to clean. The brass is meant to last forever. And then look at this. Love that beautiful, beautiful velvet interior. Look, there's nowhere to that interior. This is a vintage piece. Gorgeous, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So you can take out the joys for your rings. This is the cushion. And 
this is where you can put your, your necklaces and your bracelets around, but you can take it all out if you want to and use it as just a case. Beautiful velvet on top and bottom. Use it as a great bag. So you can travel with your jewelry with this or you can utilize it. You can do both. Carry your jewelry with it and then utilize it as your amazing pieces. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. This is surrounded in taiga leather, which is more scratch resistant, water resistant, stain resistant, almost like Prada Safiana leather. M. Eduardo 905, we don't have any scarves today, but I'll ensure to add them onto our upcoming show on Monday and Tuesday, okay? Don't you worry. Oh, Gel Pumo, thank you so much for the hearts. I appreciate it. Hearts back to you guys. Hearts all the way back. So this piece, $2,500, let's look at that base. Now, Pharrell Williams, we just saw him did a whole new Epi line with the new Alma. I love that. It's like basically the same shape, but it's the bigger side. This is Louis Vuitton on the side. It's so, so cool. But this is the time, if you want the Epi, go for the vintage. I mean, I'm all about the newer stuff too, but go for the vintage, right? <laughs> $2,500 and get it now before it spikes in price. Beautiful edge paint still along here. Beautiful piece. And it has a little bit of a contrasting black stitching on it. Or it's more of a gray stitching, I would say. Yeah, it's like a lighter black, like almost like, a, uh, like an inked black, I would say. But beautiful, beautiful, $2,500, beautiful piece. Gorgeous. Oh, Gallo Puma, are you tuning in from Argentina? Welcome, welcome. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Love Madonna. Can't sing, but we love Madonna, right? I'm sorry guys, I love to sing. My husband always tells me, oh God, stop. Because he was actually a singer. And now I'm like, oh, I can't stop. I just love it so much. So thank you guys for letting me get it out here. But come on, Madonna, come on, Argentina. We go for it. All right, guys, next we have another amazing Louis Vuitton piece you're going to die for. This is the Louis Vuitton Fluo Orange Monogram Vernis Reed PM. Beautiful, look at this orange. Mo like I said, monogram venue, and then you have the pink stripes going through it, almost like an 80s laser light show. So basically, this is designed by Robert Wilson. He was another artist that Louis Vuitton actually commissioned, and they actually first commissioned him to do basically 300 Louis Vuitton stores and do the window displays. And it was so, so cool that they then basically asked him to design a few handbags that match the window displays. And this is what it is from 2000 and, I want to say 2001? Is this 2001? I'm gonna get it, guys. I'm like 90% sure it was in 2001 they did this. Let's look. Let's look inside of it. Yes, this is, no, 2002, 2002. Right after Steven Sprouse. That's how I always try to remember it. 2001 was Steven Sprouse, 2002 was Robert Wilson. They even have his artist signature right in here on that Bechetta trim. Look, there's virtually no wear to it. Minor hardware, which I love. The interior is that neon orange canvas as well, the slip pocket. Look virtually nowhere to it, just a minor, minor mark right over here and here. And that is a great condition. $950 for this beautiful, beautiful piece. Wow, and I love it. They even did it in a few different colors. They did the larger side too, but this is the Reed PM. Only $950, guys, and look at that. Look at that beautiful, almost origami, paper-like construction on the side. And you get that monogram. As you can see, that monogram is almost hidden. Beautiful piece. I love this almost for the fall because you can really just like wear this and go crazy with it, which I love. Absolutely amazing. $950 for this gorgeous, gorgeous item. Oh, Tamika, thank you so much for the follow on Amazon. Guys, if you want to be like Tamika, head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around. Hit that follow button so you don't miss a moment of me or these amazing bags, right? Absolutely. Okay, guys, I have another piece for you. This is another Louis Vuitton piece that is discontinued, the hard to find in great condition, but I have it for you guys right here. This is the Louis Vuitton monogram canvas looping bag, but this is the PM size. And they call it the looping, why? Because you got this looping handle right here. And look, it is pretty sturdy. It does move a little bit, a little flexibility, but it's meant to stay like the loop here. And it does turn and swivel, which I love. Look, there's virtually nowhere to that Bechetta trim. Just minor darkening, just from age, because this is from 2002. She's 21 years old, so we'll give her a little break. Um, absolutely love her. Beautiful, beautiful piece. So this bag actually first came out in 2002, and then it was quickly discontinued after that, just a few years later. So they're so hard and rare to find, but we have it right here, $1,395. Look, snap magnetic closure with the canvas on the interior here. Then let's not forget, 
We have a gorgeous zipper canvas and the line here. Now this is perfect for the weekends, you guys. If you're looking for a piece on the weekend, something easy to throw over your shoulder, to go to brunch or anything such, like especially in the city, this is a great piece. It's timeless, monogram coated canvas, so it's scratch resistant, water resistant, and stain resistant. That monogram, that actually came out in 1896. And guess what came before that? Demier, 1888. Isn't that crazy? So this piece is such a great piece. I think monogram coated canvas is coming up on celebrating almost 130 years. Yeah, right. Yeah, right now it's 127 years old, I would say. So 130 years is coming up on it. And for the 110th anniversary of Demier, they released the Demier Graffite in 2008. Isn't that crazy? 120, 10 years? 110 years, 20 years, 120th anniversary. 110th anniversary, they released the uh, Demier event. Mark Jacobs brought it back. And the Demier Zer, and then Graffiti, and then Cobalt. See, I could just go all day about all this stuff. Yazdani, love this. Price, please. You got it. $1,395 for this gorgeous, gorgeous piece, Yazdani. By the way, Yazdani365, if you do want to shop it, head over to Amazon.com slash what goes around comes around or what goes around NYC.com. Click the add to cart and it's all simple. You'll see, you'll see literally as soon as you hit the website, you'll see me. We designed it that way. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> you'll see me immediately. Add to cart, so simple. $1,395. Yes, Donnie, 365. If you are looking, you also have the GM size. Head over on Amazon. You can always shop 24 seven on there. Just type in the looping and on what goes around nyc.com and you're all set. I would also recommend, this is such a great piece, to get it now because the prices on these are gonna shoot up soon. They constantly are because everyone loves this bag and they go like that. So $1,395. Like I said, it's almost store fresh. The Vachetta trim's a little darker, but that happens over time. So. Beautiful, let's look at that interior again. Look at that, virtually no wear. That Vachetta trim's so great. S zip pocket, there's no issues, no repair needed whatsoever. You can guarantee here what goes around comes around, we have the best condition items. They go through a rigorous condition check along with an authenticity check as well. We're celebrating 30 years of business, so we have some of the best in the industry. Look, I'm here, right? <laughs> Just saying, <laughs> not saying I'm the best in the industry, but you know, read between the lines there. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, I'm not kidding, but <laughs> okay. Go, moving on to the next piece. Next, another great bag for that supermodel era is almost the waist bag. Once again, we love it. Oh, Alicia Hernandez, thank you so much for the follow on Amazon. So happy. Thank you guys so much. If you want to be like Alicia and Tamika, head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around so you don't miss a moment of me or, you know, all these amazing bags. Fabulous. Alcon official, what are you doing? I'm trying to sell some bags, Alcon. Educating the world, educating the live shopping audience. What are you doing today? Let me know what you guys are all doing today on this gorgeous Friday. It's storming here in New York. You guys go on TikTok, type in Brooklyn flood, NYC. Everything's flooding. I literally was like soaked. All of us were soaked on the way in here, but we dried off. We're all set now, right before the show. Okay, next piece. Oh, here it is. <laughs> all right, here is this beautiful Chanel blue caviar waist pouch from 1989 to 91. Guys, this is over 30 years old. Can you believe this blue? Gorgeous blue, $2,750, 24-karat plated gold hardware with a CC turn lock. You then even get, look at this, stunning lambskin interior, just this minor mark right here. But other than that, that's in beautiful condition. I also need to stop using my middle finger to point out things to you guys. <laughs> Zipper pull with that CC charm here. Love that. You have a slip pocket back here. Great for credit cards or anything else that you may need. This piece is $2,750. Look at that gorgeous turquoise blue. Absolutely stunning. Then you get, of course, the belt with it. This piece is great. This is a 75. So this is a 30 waist. And I love this piece because you can do so many things with it. You can easily use it as a shoulder bag. You don't have to use the belt. You can wear the belt separately. You can put a different chain through it or a different belt. Like if you, like one of my, oh, I'm not wearing a belt because I have the side adjusters here. But if you do have a belt, you can put a different belt on it if you wish. Such a great bag. I love a belt bag. It's so, so good. Beautiful piece here. Look at this. Like I said, if this doesn't fit your waist, don't let that deter you from not getting it. 
because, like I said, you can use it as a shoulder bag or you can put it on one of your own belts. You can also buy another Chanel belt that does fit your waist, put it on there, or an Hermes belt. I love mixing the brands. Look at that, so fun on. This piece, $2,750. Honestly, the, sh the models are the ones who made the waist bag such a hit and such a thing. I love them. $2,750 for this beautiful piece. All right, guys, I'm going to move a little quicker because we have more bags to show you. And I am, ooh, don't worry. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Stay with me. Stay with me. All right. <laughs> move on to another piece. We're going to move a little faster just to ensure that I get everything for you guys, okay? I'm going to make sure we see all these beautiful items with us today. So next, I have an amazing runway item from the Spring Summer 97 collection. It's basically like a piece of jewelry, so I'm excited to bring it out. But it's an, a Minotier with a beautiful stain link strap here. Look at this beautiful piece. This is the Chanel Black and Gold Lucite Minotier Box Bag Mini Spring Summer 97 collection. It was on the runway. Of course, famous supermodels wore this piece. $8,950. Beautiful, beautiful black acrylic. Look at that. The Lucite. CC logo, there's some faint scratching throughout. Gorgeous gold trim. Look, there's no cracking, which is so rare and hard to find with bags that are 20 years old and this beautiful acrylic. Gorgeous interior unlined. I love this, you get the brand stamping here. 24 karat plated gold, and I love that chain link. Look at this beautiful snake link chain strap. This is the timeless, perfect evening bag for every occasion. $8,950, this was on the runway, they even had a clear version, but I personally prefer the black, obviously clearly. <laughs> but $8,950 for this gorgeous, gorgeous item. All right, like I said, we move a little quicker just so I can get some of these items out for you guys. Let me know if you're like Mason stuff, I need to see more about that item, happy to do so. Here is this beautiful, stunning Chanel gold Lambskin, this is metallic gold too, guys. Quilted square flat bag, single flat from 2002 to 2003. It does have 24 karat plated gold hardware. There is no exact date when Chanel kind of start, stopped. I mean, that we know of, I'm sure Chanel knows of. But basically, we do know that it stopped probably around the mid 2000s, if not slightly beforehand. But look at this piece, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you even have that CC logo on the interior here. Comes with the original Chanel dust bag, care card, and authenticity card. Long shoulder strap that is leather woven chain. You get a zip and a slip pocket on the interior here with that gold metallic. And look at this, virtually no wear to it. It is in such great condition. Oh my gosh. Faint scratch from the hardware, but this is, I mean, look at this. If this does not scream the holiday season, get it now. You gotta get it now. These are so rare and hard to find. This is $12,500. So this is extremely, extremely rare. Look, you even have that back slip pocket here. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Easily can fit your cards, card holder, anything that you may need. Only $12,500 for this beautiful, beautiful piece that we see right here. Absolutely stunning. I just can't get over it. All right, let's move on to our next piece. Next, I have a Fendi baguette. You know, 97 is when the baguettes came out, but this is a 2001 edition, I believe. I have to double check that, I believe. Yes, 2001 is what this one is. And if you are for my wine lovers out there, we know it's harvest season coming up. So, you know what that means. The crops are coming in, guys. Obviously, clearly, I grew up in the country, so I know har harvest season was a big thing for us. But even better, it's time to pick the vintage for wine this year. This is the Fendi yellow flower embroidered with slight corung lizard trim and the purple Fondazioni Lisio Baguette. So this piece is so rare, so hard. I mean, the construction of this piece is impeccable and insane. This it was dubbed the fall and fall. It's basically fall into fall. And it's from 2001. It basically features the manufacturer they partnered with, which is the Fondazioni, uh, sorry, Fondazioni Lisio was basically partnering with them because they do make all these beautiful, beautiful embroideries that we see here with gorgeous fabrics, very expensive. I mean, an art form basically. So it has basically gold thread. It's blooming with gorgeous grapevines and acorns. I don't know what the acorns have to do with the wine, but you know, 
Forget the acorns, you can throw them. Throw them when you, when you get a little tipsy. That was lame, so that was a bad joke, guys. But you have the gorgeous, gorgeous wine grapes here. I love it. This is for all my wine lovers out there. Perfect, $9,750, and I tell you, it is so, so rare. Lizard trim, and then let's look close up on this beautiful, beautiful FF logo. Look at that beautiful gilted metal, completely designed. Every piece of this bag, this aspect of this bag, is an incredible, incredible condition. I mean, I just can't get over it, along with the buckle class have that same design as the FF logo. Now I'm gonna show you the inside, has the Fondazione Vizio right here as well. Fall and Fall, Fondaziano Lizio, per Fendi 2001. Lizard trim. And then you have this beautiful, beautiful silk lining and that gorgeous royal purple with that lizard trim here as well. This is such a rare collector's piece. Authenticity trick, square magnet. Basically, it's not, it's not always, but it is mainly the rule when it comes to Fendi bags. But there are always slight exceptions. $9,750 for this beautiful, beautiful piece. Absolutely stunning. I love it. I love it so much. $9,750. Okay. Let's move on to our next piece. Next, I have for you guys something that went down the Chanel runway. Absolutely stunning and incredible. It is, of course, this beauty right here. This is the Chanel Beige Graffiti Canvas Tote. This is the one to look for. These are so hard to find and because most people wear them, but even more so, most time we don't find them with the original straps here because people can take those off and it's meant to like be moved around, but that's one of the biggest parts here, what goes around, comes around. We're gonna find you the best condition items out there with all of the accoutrements with them. This is from the Spring Summer 2014 collection. It's $7,200 for this beautiful piece. You have a slip pocket up front here. You even have a slip pocket back here. It's big enough for an iPad, I tried. The iPad mini, that is. It comes with the original Chanel dust bag along with a complimentary what goes around comes around dust bag. But let's not forget, look at this. So incredible. You get the two handles here to easily allow you to throw it over your shoulder. Went down the spring summer 2014 runway. It was basically like on the, not on the pavement, it was the graffiti collection. So cool, they even did the backpack in it, which we do have those as well. Look, I love this because you can easily move this anywhere you need on the bag and put it over here, make it a little bit different, make it your own. It's so, so cool, $7,250. The interior has this gorgeous gray lining Beautiful, you hear those chains? That is some good sound and hardware, guys. Beautiful, slip pocket, two slip pockets along with the zip pocket and the authenticity card as well. $7,200, remember if you wanna shop these items, head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around or what goes around nyc.com. Let me know if you guys wanna see any other bags. I'm happy to bring more out. I know we're running out of time, so I want you guys to see all the bags, but I mean, you know, keep going to give you guys a little bit of history as I do, okay? Let me know if you want me to slow down, happy to do so. Okay, next piece that we have, I've never seen it this small before. Swear to God, I've never seen it this small, it's so cute. This is the Gucci orange with a little bit of yellow undertone. This is like the color for the season, basically this like burnt orange, dark yellow. This is the Gucci orange grain leather Soho chain mini tote. Get the tassel. <laughs> so the Soho collection was created by, once again, Frida Gianni, the most slept on creative director of Gucci. She's personally my favorite. I know, Tom Ford, I love the way Tom Ford looks, <laughs> but I love Frida Gianni's collection more. So she created the Soho line in 2012, and it was supposed to be a more minimalistic version of Gucci for the people who love the minimalism more. And it did also was inspired by the neighborhood of Soho where both of our locations here at What Goes Around Comes Around are located in New York City. One at 351 West Broadway and the other at 113 Wooster Street where we're located, the studio inside the Atelier. It's our newest location, by the way. But she designed it for the bays, the thems, the boys, the girls of the cool Soho kids, the club kids. This bag was for them. 
And I love it because look, you can even wear this. Look, it's adjustable chain shoulder strap. Ooh, listen to that. Oh, that's ASMR. It's beautiful, right? We love it. Okay, but easily can throw it over your shoulder. The tassel is removable if you want, but why would you want to remove a tassel? But I understand if you do. Sometimes you just want a little simplicity and you're good to go. Once again, I've never seen it this tiny and I'm absolutely obsessed. Beautiful canvas on the interior here as well with a slip pocket. You then even have this middle pocket that does have the fastener. Snap closure. Look at that, virtually no wear either. It's so hard to find these on the pre-love market in this great of condition. Now there is a little corner wear. Let me tell you, normally because people love these and they wear them to death, these are beat up, even the tote versions. But I love this mini tote version. So if you're trying to decide between the camera crossbody camera case or the Soho disco bag or just the Soho chain tote, this is the one to go for in my opinion. It's that perfect, perfect middle ground for the two because you can wear this crossbody if you really, really wanted to. So $1,250, wait, that's such a great price, $1,250 for this bag. Now, if you want to shop it, like I said, head over to whatgoesaroundnyc.com or amazon.com slash whatgoesaroundcomesaround. Okay, next piece I have for you guys. This one is a vintage piece. They brought it back recently from Louis Vuitton. And this one has basically just so many different designs. This is from the men's collection, but anyone can wear this. This is the Louis Vuitton navy and multicolor Epi Danube with Demier graphite on it as well. Danube PM with silver hardware. So the Danube first came out basically I think in the 80s. I have to double check, but 80s, 90s era. It was discontinued and recently has been brought back. From 2018, this edition, the Danube was named after the second largest river that runs through Europe, which is the Danube River. So that's what we have this piece for. It's like exploring basically. But look, you have navy Epi. You have this gorgeous blue Epi, which I believe they might have brought back the Toledo Blue. That's what it looks like, but Toledo Blue was apparently discontinued, but you know, these brands bring them back. Slip pocket in the front, gorgeous smooth black leather. You get that classic Epi LV insignia. You then have the classic orange all the way around. Navy Epi on the back. Demier graphite along with more of the smooth blue leather here. And then you get that Demier graphite all the way around again. And then there's also Demier Cobalt, which is more blue, but this is, I can confirm, Demier graphite. Look, you have so many different notches on it, so you can make this longer. So that the shortest length goes on. The interior of this piece is in beautiful, beautiful canvas lined with a slip pocket. And now let's make it the longer with the additional holes on this. Oh, come on. Oh, it's so stiff, which means it's basically never been worn. I mean, there's no wear to this piece, guys. Nothing whatsoever. Incredible. And that's how you know it's in great, great condition. has been cared for is that, wow, look at that. Okay. Perfect. $2,150, this beautiful piece. Look, you can wear it crossbody if you need to as well. What I love is that I love these Danubies the way they hit. Look at this. It hits perfectly right there. So chic, so easy. I love seeing, especially in the city, we see so many guys. I mean, there have been so many articles. Men are basically taking over wearing the bags. I mean, the era for boys to wear bags is now. I hate to say men have taken over so many things in life that, <laughs> that we're taking over the bags too. But this one I'm okay with because I love a guy with a bag. It's just so great. But you, my ladies, you guys always have the special place in my heart, I promise. Oh, Junebug, thanks for the little handbag emoji. Oh my God, give me a handbag emoji if you guys are enjoying this. Handbag emojis all the way around, everywhere. Okay, let's move on to our next piece. Next, I have, if you guys love the Alma bag, which was inspired by who? And it was created for, it was a rumor that it was created in the 20s for Coco Chanel as a travel bag. And then it kind of, she gave her permission to make it released out to the wild in the public. So where did I place her? Oh, I placed her over here, I believe. Yep, right over here. Where'd she go? There she is. So the Louis Vuitton Alma bag, like I said, has been around since the 20s. Coco Chanel gave her permission to it, but it's so, so beautiful. This is the Louis Vuitton. We've been seeing so many new iterations of it. 
So this is a Louis Vuitton monogram eclipse en ma PM, petite modèle. So it's a small size. This is from the fall winter 2009 collection. All of these beautiful sequins on it. Look at that. Look how it just shines and glistens. It's gorgeous. Oh, all things Lux. Thanks for the handbag emojis. Oh my God, thank you guys all so much. So many more hearts on Amazon and TikTok and Instagram. Oh, thank you guys. Love you guys all so much. Now this piece, look at this. You know I love a big zipper pull. Huge there. Classic hardware on it. And I love, this is very much, you know, the knots there on these rings. These rings are both silver and gold hardware all the way around. So you have the dual tone hardware. Baby doll 5189, thanks for the handbag hearts as well. The handbag emojis as well. Thank you guys so much. Oh, I love it. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the show. Let me know if you want to see anything more behind me. Happy to bring it out. This piece, once again, $2,750. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. Love, love, love this item. Look at this. Beautiful. Then the feet, you get the square four feet on that. I think that's just a little, a little dust right there. Hold on. Yep, a little dust right there. Just a small mark. That'll easily come out. That's just something small in there. But look, four feet of plastic. Beautiful. No corner wear. This piece virtually has no wear to it. Went down the fall winter 2009 runaway. Listen to the zipper. Ready? You guys ready for that? Beautiful. Beautiful. $2,750. And I love because it has a monogram canvas underneath. And then the sequins are actually just slightly off-centered. So it kind of gives this like, you know, reflective look. Not reflective, but what, kind of, what am I trying to say? Almost gives this off-kiltered kind of chic layered look. That's the layering look. Beautiful Alcantara lining on the interior, slip pocket. Something I love that Louis Vuitton does on all of their limited edition runway pieces and pieces from that collection, they put what collection it's from. So I love that. They put it in French. So autumn, winter, listen to me, just saying it, <laughs> said it in a French, try to say it in a French accent. Um, autumn Ivre, which is uh, you know, French for fall winter. 2009 to 2010, so fall winter 2009 collection, basically beautiful, beautiful piece. $2,750 for this gorgeous item. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Okay, let's move on to one of our next items. And guys, we only have a few minutes left, so I'll just bring out the next two items. Then unfortunately, we are done for the day, I hate to say. So let me bring out a couple items that are like the perfect, okay, I'm gonna bring out Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know which two items I'm going to bring out. They are the ones that are super model -y and I'm so into. Okay. All right. This is another denim piece that I'm obsessed with. This is the Louis Vuitton blue monogram denim Neo Speedy. Look how fun she is. Beautiful Vachetta trim as well. This piece is from 2005. The Neo Speedy, we know the Speedy shape, that like bowler shape. This piece is that newer version, a classic version. I mean, newer for 20 years ago, newer, but beautiful. $2,450, look at this. Look at that Vachetta trim. You guys, there's virtually nowhere to that Vachetta trim. You have these two pockets here. They are functional. You may put your AirPods in it, maybe your, uh, I don't know, your, um, what am I trying to say? Your, uh, card holder, your card holder in there as well. And then of course we have the zip pocket right here. Oh, look at that denim. Wow. Beautiful denim. Gorgeous Pachetta trim, like insane. $2,450. The interior has this beautiful, beautiful, once again, that mustard curry color, that dark yellow, it's going to be great for fall, but look, nowhere. Remember that Alcantara lining, that faux suede is Virtually scratch resistant, water resistant, and stain resistant, and easy to clean. So simple. I love the handles. Beautiful piece. Shut a trim back here. Great condition. I love that. It's that slouchy effect, that relaxed effect that we love to see. But so model S. We know the models love wearing denim and everything. Okay. Last piece for you guys, and I hate to say it's the end of our show. Oh, you guys know I never want to end these. Don't worry. I am building up the stamina to go longer for you guys. Promise. One day you're going to see me for literally like hours straight. Always. This is the Louis Vuitton White Epi Soufflant bag in the mini set, though. It's the set. Most of the time you don't get these together, but here what goes around comes around. We're going to try to bring you the entire set that you see here. This is from 2007. 
and it's a soufflat, which is presumably named after Jacques Germain Soufflat, who was a uh, French architect, like factor in like the Marie Antoinette days, basically. But this piece only one thousand twenty-five dollars. You heard me, one thousand twenty-five dollars. You guys look at the condition of this piece, this white epi. Are you going to find this anywhere else? No. Not in this condition. This is no longer production. Silver hardware. This is giving winter. White with silver hardware. It reminds me of just like the lion, the witch in the wardrobe, the queen there. It's perfect. So winter. We love it. It's very much semblance of the epi version. Like the monogram version of the Papillon, this is the epi version basically of it. $1,025. That beautiful, look at that pearl gray interior. Gorgeous. Now you have that little D ring there. That's what this is meant for. The interior or the exterior, however you wish to wear it. It's only $1,025. You can even wear this separately if you want. Look how cute that is to wear it separately as an ultra mini bag. But you throw this on the interior, you strap it in. Look how cute. But I love you can also leave it out. I've seen people wear it like this. I think that's so cute as well. I love this piece. And can you guys believe that? $1,025 from 2007. Such an iconic, iconic item. Absolutely amazing. $1,025. There's faint scratching in the hardware. There's no, there's just one minor mark right here. But other than that, this, like you can't even see it. It's so tiny. It's in excellent condition. Look at the sides there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful piece. All right, guys, I'm so sad, and I hate to say that is the end of our show for today. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in to our Bag Lunch series. Today's show is all about the supermodels. Have you not seen the show? It just came out on Apple TV. It's so amazing. I have heard so many great things about it. I've yet to watch it, but that is my weekend plans. I'm really excited for it. So. Don't forget, if you're ever here in New York City, please, please, please come visit us. Or if you're on the West Coast as well, over in Los Angeles, just off Rodeo Drive, our Beverly Hills store, which is absolutely stunning. Designed, all of our stores have been designed by Gerard, one of our co-founders here at What Goes Around Comes Around. He's done an excellent, excellent job. And our entire team, I mean, from our marketing team to our customer team to all of our retail client-facing, direct-to-consumer team, they have done an amazing job to make all these stores and what you see here, our beautiful live shopping studio, what it is. So please come visit us. And if you ever do come, let us know in advance. DM us at what goes around NYC. Or feel free to DM me at Mason Henry Howell. We'll be happy to connect you guys just on TikTok or Instagram. DM us. We'll take care of you. You can always send us a message on Amazon.com slash what goes around comes around or on what goes around NYC.com as well. Oh, Remy, amazing presence. Happy Flash Flood Deluxe. Remy, to you as well. And Remy, guess what? Your gloves came in today. They're here. They're here. But I can't grab them yet because they're still like being processed. So Remy, on Tuesday, during my show at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will have them for you and I will send you a message to remind you as well, okay? And as always, if you're ever here, visit us. We'll be happy to set up a shopping appointment for you. I'll come greet you if you come to our 113 Wooster Street in the heart of Soho or at the 351 West Broadway, just around the corner for me, so I can get there and meet you guys. If I'm not in the show, obviously, but we'll set up a time to ensure you can come in. We'll get you some bubbles, a glass of champagne or Pellegrino, whichever you prefer, show you around, pair you with the stylist, and get that amazing piece to either start or add to your collection. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Amazon.com slash what goes around comes around or what goes around NYC.com and hit the follow button on TikTok and Instagram at what goes around NYC and at Mason Henry Howell. At all, as always, I'm your host, Mason Howell, and here at What Goes Around Comes Around, we are constantly chasing the timeless, the iconic vintage pieces. We're so excited to have you guys along for the ride. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you guys on Monday at 7 p.m. for our first co-hosted show with Leana Aguilera. See you there. Goodbye.